What's up guys, Malachi here, and today I'm going to be showing you my robot collection and my video games collection and consoles and maybe even Nerf guns, it depends if I have time. So, first up, we're going to go to the robot section. First up, we have Dash. Got this one for my birthday. It was literally the best. My friends come over, they love it. They, I, I mean, they love it. Literally. Turns its head, and yes, it still works. But it's got, you charge it. You can use your Android charger to charge it. It's cool, it has LED lights. Let me turn it on. Oh. <laughs> How do you do? Hey. Looking through this camera, it's like a flashlight. Okay, so you have an LED <laughs> right here. LED oh. right here. Like the Iron Man hard reactor. Then you have an LED button on the power hey. cable. And if you plug him in, it's going to hey. show him charging. So, okay, so next up, we have MIP. So, this thing has been around since, I don't know, I think 2015? Yeah, I think 2015. It's probably one of my most smallest robots. It I'm, I'm afraid it doesn't turn on. It's lived a good life. Well, usually when you turn it on, the I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like parentheses, two parentheses for eyes, and they would turn blue when he turns on. Then you have this... Chest LED light, which would, it would turn a certain color. This thing even had its own app to control it. Then you have to put trip away batteries on it, which was a real pain, because the battery compartment is so complicated to figure out. Yep, I'm afraid it doesn't turn on or off. This thing used to give me nightmares. Just because of the eyes. These hands are super small. No. But, okay, moving on. Okay, so... This... I'm actually scared of this, but it was so cool, so I had to get it. Okay, so this is the Spin Master Zoomer Chip Chimp. I um. mean, oh, so this thing could sit down. This thing could even do flips. And yes, it turns on. So, these eyes, they're ring eyes. They have LED sensors. And he has sensors for, for nose, for nostrils. Literally. And then, this, this thing actually can open its mouth and close it. So... Oh, uh, let me turn it on. So, uh, yep, I think it's broken. Officially broke it. Well, Maybe it needs to be charged, but I'm not charging this thing because this thing will probably give me nightmares. So, 
So you have the little zoomer logo. Then you have the on and off switch. Then you charge it using an LED sensor. I need to clean off my my camera so you guys can get a clearer view. And then it has chest sensors. And then you have a speaker on the back of the head. So, now I'm moving on. Here we are. So, we have my Robo Sapien. The arms move, the arms can open and shut. The thing is, though, I want you guys to see how many batteries you need to put in this thing. Oh, and um, these slots are D batteries. So, one, two, three, four. So, that's $80 for this robot. Then you have to pay, like, probably $10 more for these batteries. So, you're literally about to pay $100 just to get this robot to work. To pay for the robot and get it to work. So... But thankfully, I have another one, which I'm about to show you right now. But first, I can... So, this is the sensor right here. This is not a button. This is not a button. Okay, so you have a little visor that you can put on and off. And the eyes turn red. So, like, this is supposed to be the laser on. Because the LED is supposed to act like lasers. If you guys can see it. And then this arm. Is supposed to be the grip arm. Where you put. Extremely small stuff. On his hand. Like these. Little black things on it. These are. These act like. Fingers. But actually these help it grip on better. Or do we, the thing is. The wires are on the outside, so some of the wires, but I, I don't understand why would you do that, but this robot's from Wowee. And then this, the power button, will turn on. I'll show you another one that works. And I guess this the speaker, I think it is. I believe I did a review on this one. Go go check it out. Uh, it's on my channel. So then we have also uh, hold up, guys. I need to go up and do something. Okay. So, now we're going to check out. Okay, so now right here, we have the Robo Sapien Special Red Edition. So, let's see here. It turns on. Yes, this thing can move its body, I know. For $80, this is not bad. I lost the remote to it, like, with most of this stuff. But I'm running out of time, so I won't be able to do the rest of these. Don't worry. Did this thing just say, ouch? Oh. Okay, so what happens if you punch it? Okay, so clearly you see what's happening. Oh, if you press this button, it'll say out.
Okay, so uh, let me turn you off. I'm going to make those D batteries last as long as possible. So uh, now we go on to my video game collection. So first up, we have Mario and Louis. I mean, mm -mm -mm. Paper Mario Color Splash. This is one of my favorite games, and I'm still stuck on one of the levels, but it still works along with my Wii U. Uh, don't want to spoil it by telling you guys what it's about. But it's a pretty cool game. You should go get it if you want to. And like, if you, most people own a Nintendo Switch like me okay so next up i don't know how nintendo teamed up with sega to create this but sonic colors literally i bought this game just to hear the final boss music because it's lit but still i never got past it because this thing has pretty tough stuff in it so next up we have another game for the wii u Nintendo Land. Uh, the thing is, I scratched this thing so hard that the game just died. So it won't work anymore. So, now we have... Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for the 3DS. I never even played this game yet. But now we have... Luigi's Mansion. I never, I just stopped playing it for some reason. But now we have. Okay, so this game is perfectly fine. Just want to show you guys. No scratches or anything. But I just didn't get it. I just never actually opened it. So now we have. Scribble Knots Unmasked. D a DC Comics adventure. Okay, so this one of my. I never liked DC. I was a Marvel fan. But this mashup is pretty fun. I'm one of them. Now we have another Wii game Game Party 3. Now let me tell you something now. There is no disc. And this game doesn't even work anyway. Too much scratches. Okay, so enough with the games. Let's go to the consoles. So first up. My Nintendo 2DS. I just put it in the box. It's not brand new. And plus the box is all beat up. My 2DS XL. Um, I cracked my other one. On, this, on the upper screen. You want to know how I did that? So, I was playing Mario and Luigi Dream Team. And, literally. I don't know how I did it, but my leg, but my knee hit it. I was on the floor, so my knee hit the screen, and it pushed the screen down. It was so much pressure that it cracked the screen. Well, this one's new. It works. Let me just show you guys. Yep, so this was the part that was correct. So, yep, it's still fine perfect condition okay so next up I had a lot of Wii U games so of course I had this a lot of you might be thinking this doesn't work well I'm glad to tell you it does so I, I, I don't have it plugged up at the moment and literally my TV's on the wall 
So it's going to be kind of difficult to do that. It's going to take me a while. I mean, of course I can do it, but it's going to take me a while to hook everything up. And then my gamepad. I kept it on the charger for so long that now the battery's all messed up. And if you take it off the charger, in about one minute, the battery's going to be dead. So now I have to keep the charger in it at all times. So now I don't have a choice. I'm just going to show you my gaming headset that I use when I talk to my friends. It's pretty cool. So, now, the one and only, pretty sure everybody that likes Nintendo has this. The Nintendo Switch. Okay. So, guys, if you want to friend me. I'm going to show you my friend code. Uh. So guys, my friend code is SW33974144. So if you guys want to friend me, just send me a request. I'll most likely accept it. So, if you want to friend me, then you can do that. But the Nintendo Switch is worth the money. So, right now, I was watching YouTube, but I decided to upload a video on YouTube. So, I have Minecraft. My favorite, Deltarune, Sonic Forces, Undertale, Nintendo Entertainment System, Games, Super Kirby Clash, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX, Pokemon Quest, Blat and Splatoon 2. So... I can also friend you on some of these games like Minecraft or online games. But you have to have one of these memberships to do it. So that was actually pretty cool. Uh, I have a drifting problem with my Joy-Cons. So, so I use a Pro Controller. But still, this is starting to drift. So, it lasted a good couple of months. Like about, I don't know, maybe even a year. I think a year. But, it's finally starting to go out. I am thinking I'm starting to wear the, battery, wear the battery out. Because it's starting to go dead more than usual. So... Now, so now I'm going, yeah, I, I ran out of time, so I can't do the Nerf gun review, my Nerf gun collection, but I'll see you guys in another video. Like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and bye.